guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very different type of video. I decorated a cake. It's actually Dean's father's birthday and we're going out for lunch and I thought I'd make a cake and we'd have it afterwards. This is my first baking, cooking thing. I don't actually make the cake, I just decorate it. That's just how I wanted to start out doing these videos. I'm definitely not a chef or I'm not a pro at this. You guys will probably see a lot of amateur hour kind of stuff, but I'm pretty impressed with how it turned out. So let's get into decorating this cake. I started off by whipping up some butter. This is very, very time consuming, but it should look something like this when you're ready to start making your mixture. So then you wanna add in some icing sugar. Now you wanna add in a little bit at a time and then beat it in, scrape down the edges and then keep adding it until it's all in. By the end, it should be quite hard to mix. And at that stage, then you want to add in some milk and your flavoring. So like whether it be vanilla, I added in some milk and vanilla for this flavor. And yeah, you just beat it all up together. Okay, so now I have my cakes. I have two chocolate cakes. So what I'm doing here is actually taking a ruler and I'm measuring around the cake just to make sure it is five centimeters the whole way around. You wanna make sure that it's nice and even and then at the five centimeter mark, you want to slice open the cake. So what I'm doing is just poking the knife in and just going around and doing this the whole way around and then eventually the holes will join up and then when they've joined up, then you wanna cut off the top. You'll see me as I progress to doing this and you know you just want to make sure that you're making a really precise mark with that knife and measuring it the whole way around. You can of course put it on a turntable, I just forgot to do this. <laughs> And off comes the top layer of the cake. Now with this you can keep it to the side if you want to make cake pops or something like that. There's a few recipes you can do with it. But then I'm going to take the remaining cake and I'm going to chop it in half again with the same technique, going around, putting in holes and then, you see, there you go, it's in half. <laughs> Once you've cut both of your cakes in half, I'm going to put my buttercream frosting into this piping bag. A great tip is to put it in a jar or a vase or something like that, and it's so easy to put in. Because it's quite a small cake, I'm just going straight in on the platter and spreading some simple syrup in between each layer. It's just water and sugar boiled and then cooled. Doing this will help keep the cake nice and moist. So then I'm going to pipe around the edges. Now I am aware my piping skills aren't very good and I don't have the right tools, but what you want is a neat edge with no crumbs, basically. So I did that first and then I'm filling the edges. See how all the crumbs come up? I don't know how to stop that, so this is why I'm not a pro. <laughs> um, but no one's gonna see that anyway, it's all in the middle. So I'm just gonna spread that out evenly. And then once that's done, I'm going to pop the next layer on and then put the simple syrup on top of that and then repeat the same process. I actually had Dean help me do it because it was so hard to pipe out of that bag. I don't know why, but anyway, he helped me, which was amazing. So then just keep repeating the process. Okay, so now we've got our top layer of cake. Now you notice I put it on upside down. Make sure you do that. So then I'm going to take some of the buttercream frosting and spread that nice and evenly on top. Just take your time. Um, try and make sure that there's like as little crumbs as possible and try and make it as even as you can. We did notice that there are a few gaps in the frosting. So we just went along and lifted up the cake and just put some more frosting in between the layers. Okay, so here's where it all comes together. You wanna to take a clean spatula and just put it right up against the edge of the cake and turn the cake around. You wanna go around a few times and by then you have some gaps start to show. So then you can try and place some more frosting wherever it it's needed. So what I did is actually just smothered some frosting on the spatula and then I tried to put some more on the top there just to even it out and you know, like the whole point of it is looking rustic. It doesn't need to look even, but just so it looks like messy, nice type of thing. 
Then what I'm going to do is decorate the cake. So I've got some Toblerone and some flake and I'm just chucking it in and as well as some macadamia nuts. This cake was for Dean's dad so I didn't want to make it too girly or anything like that. So I feel like this was a nice touch on top. You can do whatever you like. And make sure you clean up your serving platter just with some warm water and paper towel just to make it nice and neat. Okay, so that is my cake all decorated. I just wanted to let you guys know that don't think that this is something that you can't do. I know people pay hundreds of dollars to have cakes like this made and it definitely is something that you can do yourself. It is very time consuming, keep that in mind, but it is definitely achievable and especially if you go for the rustic kind of look, it's definitely manageable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and leave any kind of video suggestions down below. I will definitely be doing more cooking or baking kind of videos and I can't wait to see what you guys think of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!